Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Dale Chanel's 40th World, where we get down and we re review what's trending in social media each day. Yes, that social platform is something awful when people try to act a fool and cover it up and act like they ain't never did nothing, and it wasn't them, okay? They're going to try to put it on somebody else or some other party or some other thing, okay? But page six broke it out for us today. Yes, we're going to be talking about Kim Zosiak Berman and her family. Yes, they went on a trip somewhere. I want to say in Los Angeles. Hell, it could have been in Arizona. And they were just doing connected flights to come on back to a big ATL. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia, if you don't know what that is. Okay, that destination was caused for a delay because of her dogs, her service dogs. She likes to call it when she feels like it. That ain't no service dog. That's the family dog. I don't know what Kim was going around there telling me. Showing up, showing out, and getting kicked off flights, okay? Yes. Now, that big old dog, I don't know why they wanted to take that dog or dogs on an airplane. Okay. With six of their kids, plus the mom and daddy, which is Kim and Croy. Okay, don't understand why they did that. But we're going to get on into this article that was written by page six by Francesca Bacardi. She works for them. She dropped us some tea to uh, get our perspective on and just inform us of what's going on out there. Okay, now we know Kim thinks she's privileged. She thinks she's a celebrity. Okay. And in her own right, she is a reality star or re a reality representation of a star. However you want to put it, okay? She thinks she's the shit, pretty much, okay? But, Kim, think about it. When you were single or just when it was just you and Croy and y'all were just trying to have some, you know, grown-up folks' time or grown folks' time by yourself and you don't like a lot of kids being around, chit-chatting, Playing, horsing around, crying, whining. You didn't want to partake of any of that when you was on a flight. And just say if it was an eight-hour flight. Hell, if it wasn't but a two-hour flight, I ain't got much patience for that. Then you want to throw in that triangle of a mess, some dogs to boot. Girl, please, I would have been mad at you too. And your kids. Not necessarily the kids, because I know they don't, they don't mean no better. They don't mean no harm. They just, when they get tired and frustrated, they just let it, everything hang out. But if we were adults and we did how they act when they get tired and want to act up, they'll put us in a loony bin. Okay. But that's just how it goes sometimes. But Kim and Cora, do you think you wish you would have took that Cadillac Escalade or rented you a van and moseyed y'all self on down the highway? I think y'all would have caused a, a had a less cause of frustration going on and less friction going on with Delta, the police, and your kids acting up, okay? Why they didn't think you were coming back, Croy, I don't know. Were you having trouble? Were you fussing with Kim on y'all vacation trip? Was that the reason why the kids were acting up, thinking that you had kicked Croy out? Croy wasn't coming home with them? Which you know, and I know, you can't go home without Croy. Who gonna help you with all them kids, girl? Who, child. But anyway, let's get on into what page six and Francesca. But Cardi had to write about this ordeal that you had to go through with Delta Airlines. Okay? It goes on to say, as a headline, Kim Zosiak family says they were kicked off Delta flight. Now, as we know, a lot of people been getting kicked off flights lately, okay? It was uh, one lady, she was a doctor, she was going on a trip, black uh, family, uh, Got kicked off because they didn't like the romper or the clothing she was wearing at the time. So that was a hot mess within itself, okay? But getting back on into the story, Kim Zosiak family says they were kicked off Delta flight. All right, Kim Zosiak and her family say they were kicked off their flight from Los Angeles to Atlanta because the children were crying. <laughs> 
Okay, now that's my sidebar. When you start getting on grown folks' nerves, ones that don't have children or the ones that have children and they don't left them behind somewhere, they ain't got time to hear your uh, children crying and carrying on and wondering why you haven't settled them down so they don't have to hear all that hot trot of a mess. Okay, the people nerves are bad right now. Maybe the, the passengers went on a medication to soothe their nerves or hell, they just they didn't want to see no children at a time because they had dropped their children off and they was trying to have some grown up time where they could do grown up stuff and come and go how they choose and they damn sure they don't want to see or hear kids acting up on a plane. Whew, what a hideous thought. What a hideous thought. And then you talking about small ones that are not even out of elementary or just starting pre-k up to maybe third grade no they don't want to sit down they don't want to stop talking they don't want to stop whining and they start crying because they say they're hungry they might be wet they want to lay down just all the nonsense that's why i said when you have a brood like that you have a collection of kids, a set of kids. You need to invest in a van, okay? A van that seats 12 or 8, however you put it. But Kim them needed a van to seat 8, and they can have room for their dogs. So she can call them service dogs, house dogs, family dogs, priority dogs, whatever, okay? But no, all that, I would have kicked you out too because my nurse just wouldn't have been able to handle that. Okay, but going back to the article, it says Zosiac, 22-year-old daughter, Brielle Berman, wrote on Twitter that a Delta Airlines employee removed them from their flight because her younger siblings started to cry while waiting for their father, Croy Berman, and their service dog. Now, my sidebar, not in this article. We know damn well that wasn't no service dog. They ain't got no service dog. They got a family dog. And you see the pictures I put in them from their little photoshops when I searched their names and I put in certain things and they gave me pics, okay? Pictures of their dogs. Now, that, that, I wouldn't even want that dog. Where that dog going? Is it going to be in a cage or something? What? It should have been in a crate, okay? I don't know where it should have been, but it shouldn't have been on that plane with them kids. They should have been in a kennel somewhere. Or better yet, Kim and Croy, why did y'all not do the responsible thing and get a van? Okay? And transport. Or get your Escalade truck, SUV, luxury truck, and drive on down that highway. When you have them many kids, you have a big family like that, you have to think about other people. And you have to think about the kids that are yours and how they're going to interact with other people that are not their family members and don't care one hill of a bean about them, okay? That's all I'm saying. Be cautious and be prepared for other people's feelings in this scenario, especially when they come to see a large group like you. It's just like going into a restaurant and it's almost time to close, maybe an hour, two hours, hour and 30 minutes tops, and they come in with a party of 14. And they y'all all fam. They don't want to see y'all. Y'all should have came much earlier up in the day or much earlier up in that evening hour. Oh, Kim, 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 Kim. Moving off of that, we're going back to the article. We're going to say an employee at Gate 27 Delta LAX, they were in Los Angeles, just kicked my whole family off the flight to Atlanta because we were waiting on my dad with our service dog to finish going through security and KJ and Cash started crying because they thought we left him and Kaya was literally sitting and he kicked us off. What the fuck? FWL. That's what she wrote. I just read it. Okay. Brielle wrote in a sentence on her Instagram account, but it has been since deleted. From the weekend, okay? He was grabbing my siblings and escorting them off himself while my mom's, I mean, I don't know why she was pro with it because she, mom, you got the one, okay? <clears throat> mom in the bathroom with Kaya. She added, I have never dealt with anything like this in my life. And I wanted to tell you that sidebar, not in this article. Keep living, Brielle. Keep living. You're going to learn to deal with a hell of a lot more, okay? A hell of a lot more. 
and you need to stand on your own two feet and know what's right and what's wrong. Okay, when you got a little person just crying at the top of their lungs and everything, what do you think other people going to do? They don't want to hear all that. And if you can't control your baby sister and baby brother, your two brothers, then why are you there? Why did you, you should have took the sister, your youngest sister, to the bathroom. Okay, and Kim should have been right there handling the mess. But I know you ain't got no children. You can't even live at home. I mean, you can't live on your own. You got to come home. Even when you pay a mortgage or rent somewhere else, you still come home at night. I'm like, girl, please. Going back to the article, my sidebar, okay? Um, The Don't Be Tardy star, 41, quoted, tweeted her daughter and added, unacceptable at Delta, but police are now involved. Kim, why are you calling the police? Why are you calling the police? These people got to go. The pilot got to go. The other passengers on the plane got to go. They ain't got time for all this being, this stuff being held up over service, dog, and this and the thing. Your kids just running amok on the plane, just hollering and carrying on. Don't know what's wrong with them, but they claim they want their daddy. I'm like, Bria, why you didn't check the service dogs, okay? Since they were so attached to their daddy, you know what I'm saying? And he seemed like he the only one that can get them in check. You should have been checking the dogs out with security and holding everybody else up. Or better yet, call another plane. Okay, let the other fa- part of the family go. And you stay there with the service dogs since you have to be Twitter fingers. You have to put them fingers on in motion. I don't set them out somewhere. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, girl. When you want to become a grown up, do adult things. Okay, take some, uh, take charge sometime. Take some adult responsibility for your actions as well as your siblings' actions. Okay, be the adult girl. Do better, know better. Know better, do better. Okay, getting back to the article, that was my sidebar. She goes on to say, airport police later told us that they were called to the gate but discovered the business but discovered the business dispute was in the midst of being resolved. Upon arrival and investigation, officers found the incident to be a business dispute, which was being worked out by the parties involved. Sergeant Alicia Hernandez said in a statement, officers determined no crimes have been committed and cleared the scene with no further action. What would Kim call the police for in the first place? They didn't mishandle or mistreat none of her children, okay? They didn't do it. Anything, the uh, passengers were getting accosted. They hear all of that fuss going on, all that loud noise, that crying and whining. Yeah, they the ones should have been pressing charges against you and your kids, okay? Because they didn't pay for that. They paid to have a seat on the plane for the plane to leave at a specific time and have boarding uh, times and for them to get into that friendly sky and make it to their destination. They didn't want a sidebar served up to them or some unruly kids worn and tired out and they hollering at the top of their lungs. They didn't want it. They didn't want it or expect it, Kim. They should be filing charges against you and calling the popo on you. Every last one of them passengers. Because I know where they was disgusted. And if they wanted to get an autograph from you, everybody said, hell, I don't want none because um, the kids don't just disturb my spirit. I'm going to say something bad. Then they ain't going to want to give me no um. No autograph or no picture. But I don't care because I feel some kind of way myself for the negative. But anyway, that was my sidebar. Moving back on to the article. It said, um, Mrs. Zosiak Rearman and family elected to do plane their flight after her husband remained behind to provide proper paperwork for an emotional support animal. A rep for Delta told us. Now, my sidebar and my pun intended my opinionated opinion on this situation. Croy ain't had no papers. That was a dog. He was probably just, uh, uh, that was a family dog. He was probably showing them the shot records that, you know, he was no harm to anybody on the plane or whatnot. If he did get loose because he had all his shots, he had no rabies. You know, he was just clear for his health. But ain't no way in the world they proved that that was a service dog. Because if that was a service dog, I'll get up and everything. <laughs> It wouldn't have been no problem getting past security. You could trust them, believe that. So they could tell that lie to somebody else. Okay. But anyway, going back to this article, they said we're also told court arrived at the gate after the aircraft door was shut. The family deplaned and the airline worked with them, rebooked them on another flight to Atlanta, but they ultimately made their own travel arrangements. 
Instead of garnering support for their ordeal, the Berman family faced accusations of making up owning a service dog. I wonder if the police can investigate fake service animals, someone tweeted on their account as a follower. They go on to say, Self, you don't have a service dog. So, wrote another, your dog has bit a child, noted one fan, referencing the time Kim and Cora's dog attacked their son Cash. I love that you are so open to rehabbing him, but you are abusing the service dog rule and are part of a problem, point, period, and blank. Okay. Yes, they did. They told Kim off. I don't know if they said it in Braille's um, Twitter account or they had Kim Twitter account lighting up on this situation. Because service dogs are very, are very special to people that definitely do need them. And you do have those cute little toy dogs that are there for emotional support. And they can be deemed uh, in the eyes of the law as a service dog too. Because some people are very depressed. And they need that animal to perk them up and put them in a different head space. You know what I'm saying? So even the toy dogs are cute little dogs too. And they can be there, like I said, for emotional uh support now you do have those big dogs that are very friendly to everybody very well groomed know they got their shots on point but they are usually the ones that help the ones like the blind or people in wheelchairs you know what i'm saying and you could tell because they have all the little pouches on them on their back it shows that who they are and what they do okay and they wouldn't have no problem they had showed up like hell if it was a service dog in their families many times we don't watch as myself has watched tardy for the party ain't no way you ain't no way in the world you're gonna miss that service dog running around now okay now just like this uh person commented on their uh twitter feed yeah that's the same dog that beat cash in the face and they trying to get them to come to a meeting of the mind for them to make up and be a family. But I'm going to tell you something about dogs. Because I had a little toy dog, a Pomeranian for my daughter. You might have caught this story in one of my videos because I did tell it. My da my daughter, brand new dog, paid over, I think about $1,500 I paid for that Pomeranian. Was just born and everything. Growing up with the child. Before I knew it. My daughter had threw the child, threw the puppy up in the air because he has, I guess, snapped at her or something. And she threw him up in the air on the cement. You think that dog forgot about that? No, he didn't because every time they were around each other, he would just, like, he want to tear her head off or her arms off. He didn't want her touching him, looking at him, or even coming towards him like she wanted to pet him. And then I didn't know about it because I thought it was just a bad reaction or whatnot because every time I had the dog, he mostly followed me. And I was just like, wonder why he ain't following my child. Why he ain't doing that? Because my daughter had did something behind my back that she had no been to do. She was mistreating the puppy. Okay? Because he snapped at her. And at the time, she didn't know how to... Uh, I guess care for a dog. I didn't really take that in account at the time, but you know, I started a home business and I couldn't keep the dog, so I had to find a home for the dog, okay, that I felt that he would be in good hands since I couldn't care for him anymore. So the transition was pretty smooth, but what I'm saying about that is sometimes you got to look at your kids and see what your kids are doing or whomever is in that family that that dog seemed to not like or take to and they act aggressive or abusive to that person. You got to check that person and see what they did to that dog. Do you hear where I'm coming from? Do you hear me? All right. Because it ain't necessarily the dog has not done a thing. It's the children that you're raising. That are going behind your back. When you got your back turned, your, your head turned, looking the other way, they doing something else to the dog. So, Kim, y'all should be trying to investigate that with Mr. Cash running around now. All right. But anyway, that's all I had for this um story of Kim, Zosiac, and Brielle trying to blast Delta. Delta got a lot to put up with already, okay? They always running late, behind, and they always charging you an arm and a leg to fly. Fly them friendly skies. They ain't got time to be fooling with folks like you, Kim, and your family. Being disruptive on a plane and inter interrupting the people's head space. 
and and their their oh what do you call it mentality. They trying to get and go somewhere too, and they want to do it as peaceful and quiet as possible. But you bring your whole brood up there too. I'm just upset and probably. Mm -hmm. trying to you making them act like an adult. The only thing they really probably want to do is lay down somewhere, get some food, lay down, and go to sleep. But now they got to sit up here in these uncomfortable chairs on this plane. And then half of them going to be separated. Because I'm sure you didn't book all seats where everybody was in the front and in back of each other. Now nah, you probably didn't do nothing like that. They probably spaced all the way around. And they didn't want to be bothering nobody else. So it was just a mess on top of a mess on top of a mess. So Brielle... My advice to you, keep your little Twitter hand fingers off your keyboard on your phone and try to break a story on somebody when it's going to come back and bite you in the butt and your family in the butt, in the butt for disgracing what a service dog is all about. Because I said, now that's just a mess. That's a hot mess. Trying to be privileged because you got this celebrity reality celebrity status you think you can come and go however you want when you got that type of mentality going on by yourself your own jet your own plane then you can come and go however you feel okay because it's just y'all up there dealing with y'all okay that's all i hear y'all kind of disgusted about the story as i keep talking about it because it don't make no sense you got people out here that definitely do need to use these service dogs and that's why people have them and then Kim come around here with her kids doing all this this craziness, this foolishness with this dog. Big as Methuselah. No, he need to be in a crate somewhere or at a kennel, or at least at somebody's house so they made their trips or whatever and then came back home. Because sometimes dogs can't go with us all the time. We can't go. We love them. Yes, we do. But sometimes we just don't want to be bothered. Like we don't want to be bothered with our kids sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let's drop them off at mom's house. Let's drop them off at dad, dad's house. Let cousins, anybody. Let's just get rid of them. We need some time to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to do with a dog sometimes. Because they just like children. Okay? Woo. Okay, y'all. But I'll be back uh, for another video, I'm sure, tonight before I lay my head down, say my prayers, and go to sleep. Because there was another story I wanted to talk about. How do these women going around here messing with these married men know they married? I don't care what the man is saying. You know the woman. You know the man. And you know that man was married. Yes, I'm talking about Nicole Murphy. So if y'all want to tune in to that, I'm going to break that on out before I go to sleep, too. But peace and blessings for this video. Let's put it to rest. Let's put it to bed. And let's never talk about it again. Okay? See you next video, guys. Bye-bye.